What's up guys? So I got it super early in the morning. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the uh, Yukon. I uh, actually had to wait a bit. The customer, uh, you know, after I gave him the price on the, the lines, the brake up, the rusty brake lines, she had to, uh, I guess, think about it for a bit. But it took her a day or two to get back to me. But I finally finished up the lines and I wanted to shoot a quick one, a quick uh, tools in use for you guys on, the, uh, on some snap-on tools. So check it out. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so I'm sure you guys have seen these or used these. Um, these are the, uh, the, this, the, this one's the uh, vacuum brake bleeder tool. Basically, uh, you know, especially with these Tahoes, um, I don't know if you guys ever done brake lines on these things, but they're a bear to, uh, you know, get to bleed out once you get them done it's you know you got to pretty much pressurize the system to get the brake fluid running through it so obviously what I did I replaced the two lines she wanted to do and then uh, you know let them gravity bleed for a bit but now I'm getting ready to uh, do a vacuum bleed on them so I got the two part kit here I'll show you guys how to set these up here's the part number on this one BB 500 2A and basically this one just sits up top of the res reservoir, the brake uh, master cylinder. And uh, that way you don't run it dry. So, and I always keep it clean every time because, you know, you don't want to contaminate, you know, dot three, dot four, synthetic brake fluid and all that, so, dot five. So we'll get this stuff set up and I'll show you guys how to, uh, how I bleed brakes, at least when uh, you're by yourself or you don't want to wait on a guy to, uh, you know, lend you a leg, lend you a foot to pump the brakes. All right, so first step, you'll want to fill the, uh, the refiller. So I took it over here because I don't want to spill brake fluid on the toolbox. But I'll just fill this up maybe about halfway. That should be more than enough. You just want to make sure when you got this thing up there, you're not running the master dry. That should be good. And then this one's kind of nice. It's got, a, uh, it's got an on-off. So that's on there. And then you pretty much just flip it. And then you could turn it on and it lets out the air as it's, you know, it keeps it full. So tighten that up and it does lock on. It will lock on to uh, certain master cylinders. Keep everything clean. Nice. So I pop the cap off and basically I'm going to screw this thing down because that's going to give you your level, but it's as easy as uh, just flipping it on there. And then this lock sometimes latches on for you so it doesn't tip off of there. And then just turn it on. So that's that. It'll make sure it doesn't run dry for you. Keep it full. And we'll set up the vacuum bleeder on the new bleeders. Actually had to change over the calipers on these things too. Nice. So quick tip on these things too. Um, what I like to do is because the system is filled with air right now. What I like to do is take the brake pedal and then get a little hood prop or a brake depressor tool and just press the brake pedal down maybe about halfway. That way it gets the seals open, all the valves open. And leave the brake pedal pushed down, depressed about halfway. It's gonna help a little bit. Just a quick tip. All right, well, I'll set up on the uh, right front here. Basically, you just uh, take the tool, it's got that little bleeder fitting on there. You get that popped on there. You wanna hold it upright. Then you get some shop air, hook it up. And then I, what I like to do. After you got the shop air hooked up, what I like to do is give it a couple trigger pulls to start a vacuum. Make sure you don't hear any leaks. 
It's got a good solid seal on there and then just crack the bleer loose. You should start to see brake fluid flow through. And I don't know if you guys are picking that up. You guys are seeing that it's not going to come through real heavy. There's a lot of air in there. I like to bounce back and forth between the two. Do this side, then do the other side. You can see the brake fluid flowing through. Just keep doing that. You can see it's filling the tank. You see the brake fluid at the bottom of the tank there. Tighten it up before you pull it off. And you can hear it still at vacuum. Go over to the other side, the driver's side, and same thing, just pop the little fitting on there. I like to give it a couple of trigger pulls. <coughs> give it a couple trigger pulls to start a vacuum, and then just crack the bleeder loose. You can start to see a flow. This one's obviously a shorter line, <clears throat> so you'll probably get better flow on this side. It's closer to the master cylinder. You can see we got good flow there. And I'll just do this for a while until I think I get all the air out. And sometimes it takes a couple minutes to make sure you got all the air out. I'd rather just spend the extra time on it now than go to test drive this thing with a soft pedal still. Just spend a little extra time with it. Let the tool do the work. You can see the brake, brake fluid's flowing on through there. You can see it's starting to fill. Check your, uh, always check your reservoir. Make sure that's not running low or running dry. Alright guys, so I just lapsed. I've been doing this for a good minute, minute and a half. Started to get some good flow. And I'll just close it up. You guys get the idea. I'll probably uh, knock out the other side one or two more times. Just give it a couple. Make sure you got good flow, and we'll get we'll get right back with you. So I just wrapped up the other side. You basically just want to alternate back and forth uh, between the two till you get a decent flow. Then hop in there, check your pedal. Um, it took you about two, three times, but afterwards, obviously, empty the brake fluid out into your waste bucket. Whatever you got left in there, it was good clean brake fluid too. It wasn't dark, so I know I, you know, everything flowed through there. And then you basically just want to clean this out. This is how I do it. I'll just rinse, get you guys pulled in, get some hot water going, rinse out the tank. You want to rinse out the tank a bit, so if you use dot four the next time, you don't cross contaminate. Get a good rinse of hot water there. And then what I like to do is hook it back up. Next shot there. And then just put it in water and get water flowing through the tube. There we go. Get everything dried off. You guys know I like to keep the tools clean. And basically what that does, just empty out the water now. And basically what that does is obviously rinse, rinses the tank again for you and it runs water through the seals on this. So you 
get flush out that brake fluid so the brake fluid doesn't eat up the seals, the trigger seals on there. And then I'll just dry this thing off, wipe it down, and put it away. All right, guys. So just a quick one there. Like I said, uh, tools in use. But when you're by yourself, you know, whether you're busy or by yourself, you know, your coworker don't want to lend you a foot or, you know, is too busy and you got to get the brake job done. Just a quick one, bleeding the brakes out yourself. <clears throat> and, and God knows these Yukons are rough when you replace the lines to, uh, you know, start a, start a suction to get brake fluid actually flowing through the ABS module and flowing to the calipers. That's why I had to replace them. I mean, it's, it's a pain. I've actually had to uh, put a uh, coolant pressure tester on top of the master cylinder and pump pressure into it to push fluid down into the system to just start it. So they get a little rough, but this tool definitely makes it easier, definitely makes it quick. You could, you could do it singly, you could do it by yourself, make it a mono job, get the stuff done, move on to the next one. So, but that's these, the main, the main tool, part number BB908, and then the, the extra add-on for the reservoir tank. You don't necessarily need this one as long as you keep an eye on that reservoir master cylinder, don't let it run dry while you're doing the, the bleed process. Part number BB502A. Just a quick tools and use for you guys. As always, check out Toolheads Crate if you guys haven't. Get those awesome box subscriptions. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.